Hi everyone, it's Allie the Epic D here and we are back in my kitchen again. Today I'm making my simple risotto. People think of risotto as being, oh, so complicated. It really isn't. The big thing about risotto is you want to stick by it and keep stirring it constantly. This is one of those you can't leave on the stove. You must stay there for 30 minutes stirring on and off. So I just want to get that out of the way. Other than that, the ingredients are very simple and 30 minutes, come on, that's quick. So for our ingredients, we have one quart of chicken stock, which I have on the burner behind me. I'm bringing it to a simmer and it needs to be hot for this recipe to turn out correctly. You can also use vegetable stock or beef stock if you wish. Then we have one and a half cups of Arborio rice, a half a cup of peeled and deveined shrimp, a half a cup of dry white wine, one peeled and diced onion, one cup of cremini mushrooms, a fourth a cup of salted butter, three tablespoons of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, and I have a fourth a teaspoon of saffron threads. So to start out, I'm going to take two tablespoons of my salted butter here, don't use all of it, we're gonna use the rest later. And my onions over to my pan and get the onions cooked just until they're translucent. Okay, so we're going to turn our burner on here to a medium, medium low heat and get those onions sauteed up. So, we're gonna get our butter in there Smooth it around, get it heated up. Really, this recipe is quite simple, as I mentioned before. It uh, sounds crazy complicated to your guests or your family. Who doesn't love risotto? If you're a vegetarian, obviously leave out the shrimp. You can just make it with veggies. It's good with butternut squash and asparagus, mushrooms like I'm using today. You would just substitute vegetable stock in place of the chicken stock. Make it your way. We're gonna add in the onion now. Just saute them until they're translucent, nice and soft. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our Arborio rice, the one and one half cups of Arborio rice on into that onion mixture. Now here you do not want to brown the rice. You're just gonna stir the rice in to the onions. Make sure your heat is on low at this point. So you don't burn your rice. Stirring it up, okay? Now, I'm going to add, keep it on low, I'm going to add in my shrimp, peeled into vein shrimp, and the one cup of cremini mushrooms. Everybody on in. Perfect, so turn my handle here. Gotta get a handle on things. <laughs> All right, now those shrimp and those mushrooms along with the rice are gonna cook low and slow, just like so many of the dishes I love. That's what brings out the great flavor and the creaminess in this risotto. Okay, so now, Epicureans, we are going to add in our half a cup of dry white wine, and we're gonna ladle in the stock slowly and let all that beautiful stock be absorbed by the rice. But you don't wanna do it all at one time, then that wouldn't be a risotto. We want it to be creamy, so we're gonna go real slow. So first I'm gonna add in my half a cup of dry white wine. Your 
stock that is hot here, one ladle. Keep your ladle handy. You're going to need it. So we're just going to stand by our risotto, constant stirring. That's the key. Okay, so that stock has been pretty much absorbed by our rice. This is the point where you're going to add in another ladle of stock. That's why risotto tastes so good. You've got to take the time. Back to stirring. Okay, it's absorbing again. Here we go. Another ladle. I can't emphasize enough how important it is to continue stirring, watch it, and just wait for that absorption and keep adding in your stock. Now, before we get to our last ladle, we're gonna add in those saffron threads. I'm going to crumble them in. It's really important that you still have a little bit of stock left when you crumble those in just to mix it all in and incorporate the saffron into this beautiful risotto. So I've had my burner on a medium heat this whole time. Again, watch your burner. Everyone's burner is different. All right, so we have about two more ladles left. We'll add in this ladle and then stir that in. Same thing. Repeat the process. So right about now, this risotto is appearing creamy. You'll see a big difference in the texture. Now we're going to add in our saffron threads. So I'm going to grab those, just crumble them with my fingers. So pretty. Stir that in. Incorporate it in there. And you'll start to see that beautiful yellow color. It's a special spice. And then we're going to add in our final ladle of stock. There might be a little bit more in here. Just use it. Just set that on the back burner there. Go. And you can see how pretty it's looking. Keep stirring. Okay, so we're just about ready for that grand finale. The finishing touches, which are our salted butter and our Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And then we're going to add salt and pepper to taste. So go ahead and sprinkle that cheese in. And you can see why this will be a main entree. It's very rich. Special occasions. Someone's birthday. Anniversary. Nothing says romance more than risotto. Now we're going to salt and pepper to taste. Pepper. Stir that in. Ooh, it's so cheesy, buttery, earthy with those mushrooms. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The final result should be having your rice a bit firm in the center and soft on the outside and creamy. That's the ultimate risotto. All right, everyone. There's our gorgeous risotto. It is ready and I cannot wait to taste it. It is so creamy and earthy. It's not only a feast for your eyes, but also for your stomach. 
so I'll see you back in my kitchen soon. Until then, check out my website at thecuriandiva.com. I love this place. The flute is blah, 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 blah. I'm here at the Bocce Cafe. I mean, I don't know very many restaurants that make. <laughs> so what I really love about... <laughs> I'm here with the general manager, Kyle Bush. Bush? Bush. Bush. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen.